This particular project called the Inspired Library was a collaboration between Edinburgh College of Art, the illustration department, with uh, Edinburgh Central Library. Our brief was basically that we had to do a piece of artwork or multiple pieces of artwork and which was inspired by the library or the works within it. My particular piece was inspired by um, an old book, the uh, Mort de Arthur, uh, which had this beautiful Art Nouveau cover. I decided to do a muse of books with her hair made out of books, and the, um, the result was a mix of mythology and these particular old volumes that are found throughout the library. My ideas for the project that we were doing for the Inspired Library Exhibition um, had to do with the windows and the views of, of Edinburgh from inside the library. Um, more than the books and different things itself, I really uh, appreciated going into like different parts of the library that aren't uh, always accessible to the public and kind of looking through the, the dirty windows and seeing what the city looks like from the inside out. And I took a lot of photographs of these different views, um, along with a lot of the different textures of, of the books and the old pages within them and things like that. I kind of emphasized the beauty of um, textures and like the dirtier aspects um, of the library. And, and these are things which I feel are usually overlooked. My response to the project was to do with a lot of the, the old books that we found in the rare collection. Um, I, I started by finding some second-hand books from other stores and isolating words and phrases from those uh, texts and then by, by painting over and taking those words and phrases out of context of the, the rest of the, the text I then combined them with images and tried to create some sort of new narrative in the book. The library itself was a great place to look around um, especially because it's such an old building with such a lot of history to it um, getting to go in and see uh, the stacks and the, the different areas of the library we wouldn't necessarily get access to um, especially the sort of interest in architecture of the building. Um, lots of sort of unique little nooks and crannies and spiral staircases and doors in secret places. The inspiration for my work came from the views of Edinburgh that were afforded from the windows, various windows around the library. Um, and I kind of combined that with the collection of old maps that are available in the library from 17th and 18th century. So I really liked all the patterns that the houses and buildings and gardens made. Um, so I sort of made images based on those as well. And then kind of combined that with an interest in making activity books um, for children, as I'm really interested in like the engaging people physically with books as well as the words and images. Yeah, my inspiration is from uh, some of the books I've seen and pamphlets I've seen from the library. And uh, uh, yeah, my work is about the composition, about lines, colors, and shapes together. It's quite a, it's kind of modern, but because this building is quite ancient, and then maybe you will make some interesting combination together. For this exhibition, I've created four fabric panels, and they're inspired by the novel Train Spotting. So. That novel was based in Edinburgh and it's the, one of the first books I read when I came to Edinburgh and I was really interested in going exploring all the places talk, talked about in the novel. So I went down to Leith Walk and all over Edinburgh and took photographs of the places that Irving Welsh had mentioned in the books. And then with my photographs I started to paint on top of them as well. With using the, uh, both of them together I manipulated it all digitally and got it printed onto fabric. The library, I think, is a brilliant source of inspiration for children and adults alike. And I think it's, it's important for everyone to read. And I think it's a really nice idea to, to see books visually because when you're reading, that's what you see. You see all the pictures in your head. So it's nice for artists and designers to get a chance to, to show that as well and what, what they've been inspired by in the library.